Hello, my name is Alan Mandel Butler and I am one of the founding members of Apocalypse. I am here today to ask for £200,000 in return for 20% of the business. Now, Apocalypse is a scare and haunted attraction production company that specialises in interactive, live, hardcore horror entertainment. The shows we put on are the equivalent of taking an audience out of their comfort zone and putting them directly into a live version of a horror film or a video game. Now, the scare industry is a burgeoning but not widely known sector of the entertainment industry. It's seen wide success over in the US and is now a multi-billion dollar industry year by year. It's just beginning to find its feet here in the UK due to the success of the Halloween season. Halloween is now seen as the second largest commercial holiday in the calendar. Over the past five years, domestic spend has increased tenfold from 12 million to 120 million pounds. With your investment, what we propose to do is to be able to create a brand new scare attraction to premiere this Halloween. We call it The Sickness. Now, The Sickness is based in an abandoned hospital that has put in quarantine lockdown for many, many years. Those who were left inside the hospital were subject to weird and disgusting experiments. The audience get the opportunity to explore the hospital, to escape down secret corridors, and finally, to meet the doctor. So now that you had the opportunity to meet some of the uh, medical staff and patients from the sickness, allow me to introduce my fellow directors, Alistair Reith and Tash Banks. Thank you for listening, and please ask any and all of your questions. It's a hair-raising pitch from Alan Mandel, Butler and the cast of Apocalypse. They're looking for £200,000 to create a new horror-based tourist attraction in London. They're willing to give away 20% of the company, but at least one dragon is looking sceptical. Thank you for that, Alan. Uh, do you know, something that, that has never, ever appealed to me in my life is watching scary movies. I know people do, but I prefer cowboys, love stories, comedy. So I don't know much about this sort of thing. Uh, so what, is this a theatre or what is it? Uh, basically, it's a, it's a walk-through attraction. Um, what, what we do is we create a kind of a set and then the audience actually get to walk through and be an actual part of the interactive elements with the actors. So why would anybody want to go to a walk-through attraction and be scared if they thought that was scary, which I didn't, by the way? Um, it's one of the highest... Uh, uh, horror films are one of the highest grossing uh, types of film uh, currently. There are another three, I think, scheduled for release uh, with major Hollywood stars uh, quite soon. People find it exhilarating. It's the sort of thing that people... People don't like being sad, but they will go to the cinema or to the theatre to cry um, at, at a sad film or whatever, and they feel better for it. It's like rehearsing those emotions. The partners may have convinced the dragons about the size of the horror market, but do they have the business credentials to underpin their plans? Alan. Hi, I'm Peter. Hi. Uh, nice display, but I just want to get onto the business, really. Is this you a really business? Do you think so? Yeah, I quite enjoyed it. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of really why you value this idea of dressing up in spooks outfits and similar to Halloween at a million pounds. So I'm looking for something, obviously, you've clearly got some previous success. You've obviously operated this for quite a long time and I'm assuming you've got sort of one or two years very solid profits. Uh, so, well, uh, as, as cause, a company... Because I don't think you would come here clearly, put some clothes on, some makeup, and then try and potentially mug a dragon for valuing your business Peter. at a million pounds. What were your profits last year at this? As, as Apocalypse, we have only literally been uh, a company since June last year. We, as individuals, has, have worked at other scare attractions, at four of the major scare attractions around the UK, so we have not actually got anything. 
you, so, so you did think you could come in here and dress up and try and sell an idea for a million pounds that's worth nothing? It's worth nothing without investment, and that's, that's what it is. It's been proven as but a business model. you valued it at a million pounds. How much money are you putting in? How much money have we put in? Are you going to put in? Because you've asked me for £200,000 yeah. for 20%. Yeah. That leaves 80%. Yeah. That's right, so another £800,000 is going into the business somewhere. Who's putting it in? I have to be honest to say I don't know. Is it an answer no one? Yes. No one? What do you mean no one? There's no easy answer to the Dragon's line of questioning. The trio are left reeling, and Deborah Meaden isn't about to let them off the hook either. Guys, do you know, I think you've made a serious, serious miscalculation. Had you come into here and said, we've got the premises, we've got A, B, C, D, we've sourced it, we've... now that turns it into a business proposition. There's a big yeah. difference between what you're doing today, which is an idea, mm -hmm and a business proposition. And I don't invest in ideas, I invest in good business propositions. And what you haven't got is anything that I can't go and buy a lot cheaper. Mm. So I think I, I kind of made my point. I'm not gonna rip you apart because yeah. I honestly thought you were really good. Really good. Thank you very so, much. So good luck with it, okay. but I'm not investing. Right. <laughs> so okay. I might. Thank you. Thank you, Ted. Guys, got a tear, Ryan. I think you've probably gathered this is not a goer. Yeah. You need to go back and reconsider. Yeah. I can't invest in this, so I'm out. Thank All right. Okay. Thank you. And Alan, Alan, I'll tell you exactly where I'm... I think the scariest thing today was your business naivety. And I think that's the only thing that's let you down. But I'm not going to invest and I'm out. Three dragons out in quick succession and the pitch is in real trouble. Duncan Bannatyne is no fan of horror, but has he spotted any potential to make money from the business? If I invested £200,000, what's my return? Uh, over the three-year forecast, we're looking at just over a million pounds. What do you mean you're looking at a million pounds? You're looking at making a million pound profit or...? Yeah, net profit of a million and uh, fifty thousand pounds. A million and fifty thousand pounds over three years. What's my return from that? Your, your return for 20%? Hmm. That is 200000 But I've invested 200000 yeah, but the, the figures that we're looking at are the, are the kind of um, yeah. basic... Yeah, but estimates. if I invest 200000 and get a return in three years of 200000 I haven't done very well. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm annoyed that you want me to invest £200,000 into your company that you're just going to formalise now, which has nothing. I think it's diabolical, and for that reason, I'm not going to invest, and so I'm out. Let me tell you where I am, guys. Um, you know, I come to make business investments and listen to business opportunities. And this is not a business opportunity, and it's very poorly presented with very poor research and understanding. And this, for me, has zero credibility. So for those reasons, I can't invest, so I'm out. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. The Apocalypse team have felt the full force of the Dragon's Wrath. It takes much more than a dramatic pitch to win over these investors. No, I'm just really annoyed. You know.